Hello everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. And today I am here to do a VR to Rochelle at Amethyst Ascension. We're doing the story time, a tarot adventure. Amethyst Ascension, um, or Rochelle, <laughs> has created a, um, a story where you can read through the story. She posts the story on her in on her um not Instagram on her Facebook page so if you want it you can go there I'm gonna post her video in the description box below I'll put it down there so you can click on it and get all of the information on where you can get the pages for the story if you want to do it yourself and all that kind of stuff also see her video um and then you can you go basically this is like a uh, choose your own adventure style um tarot journey. <laughs> uh, it's fun. You, you, um, I did it with her when she did her video and it was a little difficult to do it with her. So that's why I'm going to post below where you can get the pages and do it yourself if you would like um, after, after you watch this one. Because <laughs> I tried to do it along with her and it was a little bit difficult for me. So I'm, I'm excited to be doing this again. Um, but I think this is a game you could play. You could do this yourself at home all the time. Like if you just want to play with your deck, you want to just use a deck. This is a great way to do it. So I have the story here on my my iPad. I'll show you. And that's the first page. And that's the second page. So if you want to screenshot that, you can grab it. And then I am going to be reading this aloud to you. So I'm going to just pop this over here so I can see it. And then I'll draw the cards where it says to draw cards. And we'll see what kind of a, what kind of a story we come up with. <laughs> So I thought this would be fun. I thought this would be something fun to do for um, the Halloween season because, I mean, I think of Halloween, Halloween for me is all about like, you know, storytelling and candy and kids and, um, you know, the kids dressing up and, and parties and things like that. That's what Halloween is for. I think a storytelling vibe is good for the Halloween season. So let's see if we can do a few of these videos this month. Um, this one is about a, a trip to, you've been invited to a house. So I'm just shuffling up the steampunk tarot. We're going to use the steampunk tarot here today and we'll pull as we go along. So, all right, there's the cards and let's go. It says you get invited to a weekend event at this beautiful, very mysterious mansion that sits outside of town in a remote but gated area. It has sat vacant and overgrown for as long as you can remember. The invitation you received is for one, is for you and one guest. Draw one card to see who will accompany you. Okay, so let's draw a card. So she will accompany me, my, this chariot, this lady of the chariot. She's um, very excitable. She knows what she wants. She's kind of a little bit, um, a little bossy, a little edgy, right? My edgy bossy friend, and I'm probably the quiet, you know, quiet one. So she's the, the boisterous one. <laughs> so then it says, you travel to the location and upon arrival, the gate just automatically opens for you. You proceed to the front parking area where a middle-aged butler is waiting for you with staff to grab your luggage and show you to your rooms. As you enter the mansion, you are completely overtaken by how magnificent and elaborately decorated it is. You then become struck with a peculiar smell and your heartbeat begins to increase as a vision fills your mind's eye. Draw three cards to explain your vision. All right, let's draw three cards to explain my vision. All right, we'll put my friend over there. What should we call her? um oh there's three right there one two and three what should we call my friend i feel like she needs a name uh valerie yeah let's let's call her valerie queen of pentacles queen of swords whoo and the two of swords all right so it looks like i've seen Ooh. so the queen of pentacles has her back to the queen of swords and it looks like the queen of swords is um taking a man's hand here so maybe the smell and then there's a, a two of swords oh that's my my laundry excuse the beeping um <laughs> so i think that maybe the two of swords is saying that there is a decision to be made here of whether or not maybe i've seen um a vision of a 
three, what do you call it? When there's three people, a, a triangle, a love triangle, two women fighting for one man and maybe the the smell was the man's cologne. Is that what I smelled? Um, and And him trying to decide which woman he wants. Maybe that's the vision. They're not happy with each other at all. I feel like maybe one of them got rid of the other. I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> Okay, so that's the vision. So I'm just gonna sit those there. So it says, you regain your composure and proceed to your rooms and your guest is shown to their room that sits right across the hall from your own, right? So Valerie's off to her room, I'm off to my room. You enjoy looking over your room at old pictures and beautiful draperies and then proceed to lay down on the large luxurious bed to see how comfortable it is. You stretch your arms out, eagerly taking in your surroundings, and then you hear a knock at the door. You answer the door and your friend is standing outside with a bottle of wine and a big smile. You both decide to indulge in some wine and you proceed to tell them about your vision. Shortly after, there is another knock at the door and a staff member ushers you and your guest to the main area where you are also greeted by many other guests who seem oddly familiar, but you just cannot recall who they are. A couple of staff members appear and begin taking all guests on a tour of the house and lands and relaying the entire house history of this enormous estate. Draw three cards or more to tell the story, the history of this place. Okay, so let's see. I feel like we already got some ghosts lingering, so we're just going to put them there. This sort of, maybe it's more like a death becomes her or a... um. Like, you know, you know, these two people, these two women died uh, trying to get to this man and they're upset and they killed him. Like they came back and killed him or something. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> we need some cards. Let's draw three cards to see what the story is of this place. Oh, see, look at that. Look at that. If that is not the, um, the, the. What is it called? What did I say it's called? The threesome, not threesome. I want to say threesome, but in my head, I'm thinking love triangle, but maybe threesome is the right word, right? Because even though my mind is saying love triangle, maybe it was actually a threesome and they were like a, a family that had two, you know, had, you know, two women and a man living together harmoniously but in this time that wasn't acceptable and and then maybe something happened where the two women had it out or he did something to choose one maybe he cho oh maybe he chose one over the other and that caused a big problem because they were happy with the three and then you know he caused an issue by choosing one over the other and then that caused them to you know some maybe some death ensued and then they came back and killed him. I don't know. I feel like there's like a whole story there. So that's part of the history. Um, also, there is a, there's the eight of pentacles here. So uh, let's see the eight of pentacles and the moon. What is this for the history of the house? Oh, so maybe what happened was the, her, they were living happily together and then maybe something happened where the guy couldn't stay he had to go back to work or he had to bring work to the house and people started to realize that there was something that wasn't normal there it wasn't like um you know back in the day having two wives wasn't a, wasn't allowed so um maybe people started to see that and started to judge him for that and when all of that was uncovered let's see yeah, all hell broke loose. So um, I think what happened was like he was rich and he was happy and he had his two wives or his two lovers and they were in a happy relationship, the three of them. And then something happened. Maybe there was like a, 
uh, a loss of funds. Um, the business went under. Something happened where he had to go back to work. He was very rich. He didn't need to work. So nobody was coming to his house. Nobody was bothering him or checking for him. He was like a second son. You know what I mean? Like he just had a bunch of money and he had his wives and he was very happy and they were all very happy. But then he had to go back to work. Maybe his father took all his money away. Maybe they lost all their money in like a, a war or something. I don't know. Stock market, whatever. And then when he had to go back to work, that put him back out into society or brought society into his home, which then, because he was good at what he did and people wanted to engage with him, but it also brought them into his life. When they started to realize that he had two wives um, and all of that was uncovered, he, they started to judge him and all hell broke loose because that wasn't allowed and it wasn't okay and he needed to make money. So he had to choose, he had to make a choice between these two women. And they were not happy about that. And maybe, let me see. The Three of Wands and the Hierophant. Ooh. So maybe he left and went somewhere else, or he tried to leave and go somewhere else and take them with him. But without money, it's hard to go, right? And maybe the. The Hierophant makes me think maybe that, I mean, this Hierophant looks kind of kind, but in the context of this situation, this volatile situation, um, maybe the, the church came in and, you know, tried to force their hand about his relationship. And then they all just like, I don't know, I feel like they they died a violent death, but maybe it's possible. I thought maybe they one of them killed each other or he killed one and kept the other. But I'm thinking now that he couldn't decide and they all like committed like a mass suicide, Romeo and Juliet style, a Romeo and Juliet, Juliet style. You know what I mean? I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, let's keep moving. Immediately after the tour, dinner is ready and waiting for all guests. They are shown to the massive formal dining area that is the center of the mansion with no outside windows. The dining table is so long and opulent, filled with lots of decadent dishes and cutlery. All of the guests had assigned seats so that they would converse with people that they had just met. The setting is dark and intimate, filled with tons of lit candelabras and wall scones to, eliminate the room, to illuminate the room in dancing shadows and a warm glow. The host is announced and appears out from the dark shadows by the room's entrance and sits at the head of the table, accompanied by his stunning wife at the, under, at the other end of the table. There's something about these people that also seem eerily familiar, but also so very unsettling. Who is this host and why has he invited me? I ask myself. So first card, who is the host? So let's see. The fool, okay. So the host is playing a game. And why does he seem familiar? Queen of Cups. Oh. Um. I don't know. The Queen of Cups makes me think mother. And so that makes me think family. So maybe he, her mother knew him. Um. Yeah, maybe her mother knew him. Maybe that was like mother, her mother's family or mother's brother or, or something like that. Uh, why has he invited you here? Okay, I'm running out of space. I need to get under here because I feel like, let's see. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Oh, he's playing games. I told you. He wants to, he's playing a game. Let's, what is this game though? Ten of Cups. Okay. That's family again. Um, so I, it feels like a game, but not anything bad. It looks like he knew my mother. Maybe he was her brother or maybe he was her lover. He has some secrets that he's holding about my family. And he has not yet told me. And, but he's, he's still holding them in. He hasn't said anything and I don't know if he will release it um, or not. 
What has your inner vision revealed to you is the next question. Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles. My mother was a single mother. She was very well taken care of. Um, and, you know, when she split from him, wherever she went was good. And it left me in a good place. However, he is still thinking about her, even though he's married to this other woman, right? Um, so maybe he brought me here to tell me about his relationship and ask about my mother if she but he has his wife here so i'm not sure um so then what is the next step is the next question and i want this one the four of cups okay so maybe i stay the night you know maybe i stay the night and just see if he actually releases this information that he has to that he has to tell me like i'm not i'm not getting all of the information i don't want to look too eager right four of cups but i also don't want to i don't want to get too excited or and leave i don't want to get too upset about him playing games and leave maybe i just relax and stay the night uh, with my friend enjoy our wine enjoy our lavish dinner and see if he reveals whatever information is that he is holding holding back or whatever reason he brought me here. It feels almost like he wants to tell me that maybe he's my father. Um, I don't see any men here on this table though. So yeah, um, I don't or I don't know if he's just wanted to ask me about my mother or if he just really cared for my mother and wanted to see how I turned out. <laughs> Um, or if he wanted to see if maybe he was my father, if we looked alike, <laughs> it's possible. You never know. Um, especially with all of this to this energy here, maybe he was looking to, um, maybe he was looking to, um, live up to the house, the history of the house and bring my mom in to be his second wife and wanted to see if I could talk her into it. <laughs> Um, I don't know, but that was the last question and that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. The last time I did this, I did it with um, the, an animal tarot. So it wasn't as, it was different. It was a very different story. And so I think that, you know, you could, I could do this over and over again and get new stories each time. This is a fun game. Um, I'm probably going to save these somewhere and just when I want to play a game, like I play the um, solitary or the, some of the other games in my playbook. Um, I'm going to add this maybe to the playbook. This is just, just something to do when I want to get the cards out and use them. And I don't have anything, any questions for them. And I just want to play with my deck, a new deck. This would be great to do with a new deck, actually, just to see how it reads. I hope that was as much fun for you as it was for me, because I love doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> I love to play with my cards. Um, I always want to ask deep questions and I don't always want to, um, D divine you know or or know anything really i just want to play i want to get the cards out of the box i have a, a a nice collection of pretty pictures and boxes and i want to get them out and look at all the pretty pictures you know what i mean so this is a great way to do it so, so. if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you to everyone who's been giving us giving me the thumbs up us who's us <laughs> i'm going crazy over here now i'm splitting my personalities i it's just me over here so anyways the giving me the thumbs up. Uh, it's been helping the channel grow. And I also appreciate um, you guys commenting. I love chatting with you all. So, you know, leave comments, let me know what you think, all those sorts of things. Always a pleasure to chat with you guys. Um, if I will put links below where you can see this original video. Also, I saw one from Clean Us at Haru. It was pretty fun. So I will, uh, I will link that one below in case you want to see that one as well. I it doesn't have a tag. So I think if you just search up, you know, tarot story time, you might find other videos. I haven't searched, but I think you might, um, if you want to find other videos, you can find search that way. If you did the video, let us know in the description box below so that we can, um, we can go look, look for it. You know, I don't think you can leave a link, but you can just tell us, you know what I mean? So, all right. So until I see you guys next time, stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.